Welcome back to our page where we talk all things paparazzi. Today we're talking about when you start your business, what do you do? How do you send your, your inventory? What are some options you have? So we're going to look at a couple options that you can have to send your inventory. So let's say you pull a piece of jewelry out of the package. And so now you no longer have the package to ship it in, but someone wants a piece of jewelry. There's a couple of options you can use. First, you can choose an organza bag, which is a cute little, just organza material made in a cute little bag. There's different sizes you can get. This one's about a three by four. This one's about a four by six for a little bit bigger pieces. And then basically what you're going to do is just slip it in there and you can zip it up. Now, this is, you can put individual pieces if you like, or you can do a couple of things. Now, this is one thing that I do. I purchased 100 bags. They come in these little sections like this. It is a 3 by 4 inch bag. And it's basically like a tiny little Ziploc for jewelry. And so what I do is, let's say I have a young lady who is purchasing several pieces of jewelry, then what I do is I actually take the jewelry and put it in the little plastic bag, which this is a great tip, girls. If you keep your jewelry in these bags, they don't tarnish as quickly because it's kind of kept from the air. So I can put like a couple of pieces in there, then I'm going to show you a little money-saving tip that will help you. So you can put a few pieces inside of your little bags here if you pull them out. And then they're stay, they stay nice and safe. Now, you can ship it like this if you like. If you want to just ship them like that, you most certainly can. These are just pennies a piece. It doesn't cost a whole lot of money. But if you get a little bit bigger organza bag, what you could do is you can take four, five, six, even seven pieces, depending on how chunky, and you can just layer those up in one of these bags. I mean, you could just literally put a ton of it. So that way you have basically a little less cost per um, per per uh, organza bag that you're going to send because this one is about five or six cents to have the big one where if you just use one and you having four or five pieces that's better than having one piece in each organza bag of the smaller sizes so that's a little way you can save some money it may not seem like much but when you're selling hundreds of pieces of jewelry and you start adding up those little costs here and there it does add up pretty quickly so there's a couple of options. You can do little Ziploc bags or you can do the different size organza bags. I tend to get the bigger ones um, so that my bigger pieces, like let's say a wood, a chunky wood piece like this one. Of course, I just dropped it. Um, a chunky wood piece like this will fit really well inside of the bigger organza bag. So if you have something that's chunky and you take it out, it will definitely fit inside of the bigger one, easy to ship, and that way you kind of have that taken care of. So there's a couple options for that. Another thing is you want to educate your customers because just like anything, jewelry tarnishes, even fashion jewelry. So what I did is picked up on Amazon, you can get like a pack of 50 to 100 of these. Um, they're about eight dollars and you can just google it on Amazon uh, they're just called uh, jewelry cleaning cloths and so basically it's just a little cleaning cloth and when you want to educate your customer when you have a piece of jewelry that tarnishes you can use um, these cleaning cloths to take that tarnish right out of that jewelry and it'll buff it uh, pretty back into that silver now if their jewelry does tarnish because they have a very high um, pH in their body and they're very acidic their body is very acidic their acid in their body actually eat the metal on the outside. If it, that is the case, then the buffing won't help. But a lot of times, jewelry, um, the jewelry will will tarnish. Let me see if I can grab a piece. Will tarnish just because it is um, just to the elements, and it'll buff out really, really easy. So I'm going to give you a quick little little um, tutorial here. So this is a little necklace, a little purple necklace. But if you see on the back of it, let's see if I can hold it still. If you see on the back of it, it's actually pretty tarnished. Like, that's like really tarnished. So here's my clean um, little sheet right here. I'm going to show you really quickly. So you're just going to take that and just you just basically rub it. And I'm going to show you on the cloth what that looks like, and then you can see the finished product. So there you have on the cloth, you can see that's the tarnish that came off. And then there you have a nice polished silver. So that's something you want to educate your customers on. That way they don't think, oh my gosh, my piece is ruined. All they need is a simple little cloth. It's very easy to keep it clean. Another thing you're going to need is some bubble mailers. So a lot of people use priority mailers. If you use priority mailers, you have to pay the priority flat rates, um, which the bigger one is like seven something. And I think the smaller one is like 
stick something. It's expensive. I would suggest using first class mail because it goes by weight up to about 15 ounces or so depending on what service you're using. Um, but these little bubble mailers inside of it, this is actually somebody's order, but <laughs> inside of it are these little bubbles and it keeps the jewelry safe. I've used this for two years. I've not had any trouble with them. So um, this is about a 6 by 10 inch size and you can get the bigger sizes which is about 8.5 by 12. So there you can kind of see the two sizes. Um, so if I have bigger, chunkier pieces, I'll put it in here and the smaller ones obviously in there. If it, if it weighs more than the 15 ounces, you have to ship priority because that's just according to the mail. But a lot of times you can ship something in something like this for 2 to $3, uh, depending on the weight. About $2.60-70 if you're using a, a, a commercial um, service such as stamps.com. Um, if not, it'll be a little bit more at the post office. So there's a couple of things to kind of help you get started when you're, you're thinking, what in the world? How do I ship it? What do I get? Where do I get these things? All of the things I mentioned here today are all available on Amazon. You can Google these called bubble mailers. Um, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them on eBay. I actually buy my bubble mailers mostly on eBay because it's actually cheaper than Amazon. And if the, the more you buy, sometimes it's the cheapest price. So sometimes I, well not sometimes, I buy mine by 500 pack. But if you're starting, you're just starting, you don't need that many. So just get what you need and I encourage you just as your business grows, then you grow with it as well. So that can be purchased on eBay. These can be purchased on the little jewelry cloths on um, Amazon. Probably eBay has it as well. Just Google jewelry cleaning cloths and then these little plastic bags. Um, this is a three by four inch, two um, millimeter uh, bag and that can also be purchased I think those I got on Amazon so just I always say check both of them because sometimes some of it's a little cheaper than the others organza bags can also be found on the home app or wish app I will tell you they ship from China so it does take sometimes three to four weeks so just know that if you do buy those it is a little bit cheaper but it does take a little longer to get to you so kind of plan accordingly um, if not Amazon has a, a good price as well as um, as well as eBay. So there's some options for you to know what to do when you get your kit home, how to get this jewelry out of the door. Also, if you want to use a um, shipping service, stamps.com, and I'll put the link in the description. Stamps.com is a monthly fee, but you do pay commercial rates rather than retail rates. So the more that you ship, actually the lower your cost per uh, package becomes. So the more your business grows, you actually save money as you go and what's nice about stamps.com is that anytime you enter someone's information it stores it you never have to go find it again very easy makes the shipping process move a little bit quicker um, also if you want to invest in a Dymo label writer 4XL is the one I use it's wonderful and um, it prints all of my uh, labels on just it's got a roll and it has a label um, that you just literally pull off and stick. Very easy to use, um, wonderful product. It is about $150 to $175, so it is a little bit of an investment, but as your business grows, it is something totally worth it. So hopefully that's helpful, and you can find those on Amazon as well as eBay or even at your local office store. So hopefully that's helpful as you get started in your business that you find these things and you put them into practice and you find all the tools that you need to be successful. So girls, remember the most important thing is that you are beautiful no matter what you wear, no matter what you've ever been told, no matter how successful you are, no matter what car you drive or where you live, you're beautiful just the way you are. Have a great rest of your day and we'll see you back here on the Spread the Sparkles page. Be sure to subscribe, share with your friends that are in the Papa business and grow together. All right, girls, have a great rest of your day. Bye now.